Hare Krishna. My name is Akhand Liladhar Das. Today's question is, what is karma? In usual terms, karma is referred to as actions or activities. There are some people who consider it as fruits also. But in Vedic perspective, karma means actions done as per the Vedic, Vedic injunctions. People perform fruitive activities as per the rules and regulations prescribed in the Vedas. Now there are three types of actions. One, karma, akarma and vikarma. Karma refers to what I have earlier specified that karma means actions as per the Vedic scriptures. Whatever instruction given in Vedas, people follow it and they do their duties, prescribed duties as per the rules and regulations without you know, going against it. That is karma. And the opposite of it, that is vikarma. That is 99% of the people right now, people are vikarmis, not karmis as such. Because they don't follow Vedic scriptures, it means they are going against, they are breaking the rules and regulations which are prescribed in the Vedas. That's why they are vikarmis. And the destination of vikarmis is very, you know, it's hellish. As it is said, asure nama te loka andhena tamasavrita. Tam se pratyabhikachanti yeke chatma hano jana. People who are vikarmis, they enter into hellish planets, people of demonic natures. And the destination of a karma is that if they perform through two actions properly, as per the rules and regulations, then they get the destination, higher destination, they may go to heaven. So now karma, karma, vikarma, and now left is akarma. This is the best form of activity. Akarma doesn't lead to any future entanglement and akarma refers to actions which are done to please the supreme lord it is not for our selfish purpose whereas karma is for selfish purpose one who want to gratify their senses they are karmis although they want to gratify the senses but at least they are better than the vikarmis who are not following the vedic rules and regulations at least they are coming under the circle of vedic pervasion so the best, as I have earlier said, the best is vikar, uh, akarmas. People who are actually devoting their life not to please the senses, but to satisfy the Supreme Lord. That is best karma. Hare Krishna.